Welcome back to another season of MRHS News. I'm Jackson Carmichael, and today we'll be taking a look at Mainland's upcoming events, fall sports, and new entertainment topics. First up, Helen, Kieran, and Sam will be talking about our new athletic director, Mr. Kern, and his plans. As many of you know, our athletic director, Mr. Gatley, has retired. Mr. Kern, previously a history teacher, has filled the role. Some of you may not know Mr. Kern, so here's some insight on his life as the new athletic director. Were you faced with any challenges with your new position? Um, I think the, the biggest challenge I have so far is um, I'm kind of like a list person. Uh, I like to cross things off. I like to get things done, and um, I don't like to advance to the next one until one's done. And I'm realizing that that's not really possible with this position because uh, there are challenges that pop up every day, and some are this important and some are this important. So the order at, of which we kind of complete tasks in here is a little different for what I'm used to. What made you want to stop teaching history and become an athletic director? Uh, I don't. I didn't want to stop teaching history. Uh, I enjoyed teaching history. Um, I think that uh, the opportunity to impact a variety of sports and also the curriculum with physical education, it just kind of offered a new challenge after um, 17 years in the classroom. So I think it was just the idea that it was a new challenge. It was uh, a way to impact the school in a different way. and. Um, the kind of time was right for me and my family for something different. I think my favorite part so far is just seeing the different sports that uh, coaching in the fall the last 17 years didn't afford me the opportunities to see. I, I mean, I've seen girls soccer play, field hockey play multiple times, uh, tennis and volleyball. And unless it was rain or uh, we were sharing a gym space, I never really got an opportunity to see those teams compete. So. Uh, seeing our, our coaches and our kids uh, compete this fall, that's been great. And then uh, obviously um, working with Angie's been tremendous, our, our athletic administrator here. So that's been a nice uh, transition. If you learned something new about Mr. Kern, that's all for today. I'm Helen Malia. Behind the cameras, Kieran Cummings and Sam Goldstein editing. Back to the studio. Thanks, guys. I'm excited to see what Mr. Kern does with our programs. Now we'll hear from Ellie, Chase, and Jake discussing how everybody feels about coming back to school. Today, we are seeing how people feel about being back to school. How do you feel about being back to school? I'm really excited to start learning and meet some new friends and have fun in school. Start the new year. I'm really excited to see all my friends again, experience a bunch of new stuff. But the one thing I'm most excited for is the brand new faces I'm going to be seeing in the hallways. Pretty excited. I'm ready for a couple more game days on Fridays and uh, going straight from school to practice. I mean, it's all right, but like, I really don't want to be here. Like, I don't really like my teachers, and like, you know, that's that's really it. How do you feel about being back to school? Uh, you know, it's not bad, but I'd much rather be just sleeping right now. <laughs> well, drained right now, but no, I love the school system. I, it's good to see the kids, meet new children, and to get away from my children. How about that? That's the best part of it all. I can believe my kids. To come take care of somebody else's kids. <laughs> but no, this is great. I love it. Trying to learn the layout of this school is crazy. Like, but I think I've got it. Four days, I think I got the layout. But it's nice. It really is. Different. So how do you feel about being back to school? Um, I'm really excited. I'm happy to see everyone again and be back with my friends. And yeah, I'm so happy. Oh, how do you feel about being back to school? Uh, it makes me happy to see my beautiful friends, such as Jake Blum, Chase Hoag, because they really make me happy. And it sucked not seeing them for two months, but we're back, honestly. Um, I'm very excited because um, it's very fun. How do you feel about being back to school? Oh, it feels great because, you know, I get to see my friends every day. And, like, in the summer, I didn't really see them that much. Now I see them every day. Yeah. There you have it. That's how people feel about being back to school. I'm Ellie Lucchese. Chase Hogue and Jake Blum are behind the camera. Now back to the studio. Thanks, guys. I don't know about you, but I'm already missing summer. Next up, to lead our sports segment, Charlotte will be informing us on our upcoming sports events.
Thanks, Jackson. I'm Charlotte Weaver, and welcome to the sports segment. Today, we're going to be talking about the football and cheer team. Take it away, Nina. Hi, my name's Nina Friedman, and today we'll be interviewing football players on their upcoming season, expectations, and how football affects their lives. What are your hopes for this football season? Um, pretty solid team. You know, we've got a lot of great depth, and uh, being able to get a spill every so often on offense and defense side of the ball really helps. A uh, whole team of black shirts, hopefully, by the end of the season. My expectations is that like, we win every game. We seem like a good team, and we just have to practice hard and just win every game. Uh, the, I'm ready for this upcoming season because I want to play OC to play my former teammates. My expectation is to get more opportunities and make dress lists. What are your hopes as a freshman on the football team? I just hope to keep working hard and start getting noticed by the coaches and finish out with a good year. Uh, I hope that I will eventually make uh, dress lists and all the hard work that I put in and uh, in the future just be a star on the team. I hope to start in one varsity game. Uh, I just hope to keep on improving and to keep on improving on this team and to just really get better and win. So, How does football affect your life? Um, I think that football has like really affected my life because it's six days a week, so it's like a big commitment. And you really got to like be there on time, make sure you're waking up early, like eating good, sleeping good, drinking always water. And yeah, it's just 24-7 to grind. It's like How does the student section affect the football team? I think the uh, student section plays a pretty big role with keeping the team uh, motivated throughout the game and giving them uh, energy to uh, keep making great plays. I would say that the student section, you know, we get rowdy, you know, we get excited. And I think that energy carries over into the players. You know, I think our energy and our excitement, you know, makes the game special. And I think the players have fun playing. And I think, you know, we increase their, their drive and want to play. That's all for today, Mainland. I'm Nina Friedman. And behind the camera is Danny Smith and Nate Burke. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Nina. That all sounds great. Now we'll head to the sidelines as we interview the cheer team about their upcoming competitive season. Take it away, Mateo. What's up, Mainland? Today we're going around and interviewing the cheerleaders to see how the cheer season is going as an overall. Let's go. What's it like being the captain on the cheer team? Um, it's a really big responsibility, but it's super fun and I love it. Being captain is really fun, but it also comes with like more responsibilities and everything. How's your junior year of cheer going so far? It's good. It's only the beginning of the season, but I think we have a good season ahead of us. It's going really well and making new friends and memories, and it's just really fun. How's your sophomore year of cheer going so far? Um, I'm really happy I joined this year, and I'm having a lot of fun. It's good. I like it a lot better. It's really good and fun. Oh, it's good. It's really fun. Yeah, it's good. How's your freshman year of cheer going so far? It's really good. Everyone is super welcoming and really nice, and I really like it. It's good. The team, there's a lot of team bonding with everything, and everybody's just super sweet, and the coaches are really sweet and just nice and very helping. Same with the captains. It's going really good. Everyone's super sweet, and we do a lot of team bonding. Um, it's good. All the girls and the coaches are really welcoming, and they give really good tips on stunting. What's your favorite part of the cheer season? Uh, just being with all my friends and being able to be yeah. together every day and then having games on Fridays. Um, I like getting ready with all my friends before games and game days are really fun. Um, my favorite part of cheer is being with my friends every day. I just look forward to talking with everyone. Probably the Friday night lights. Um, I like spending time with everyone. Um, I like stuff. I like game days on Friday. Um, Fridays, because game day. Um, yeah, it's Fridays too, because I like cheering. Like, probably all the team bonding we do, and I really like the Friday night games. Probably just like making new friends, and yeah. Um, I really like going to the games, it's super fun. <laughs> I love selling goods at the bake sale. Looks like the cheer season has been going great so far this year. That's it for today, Mainland. I'm Mateo Naman. Behind the cameras, Jack Gregory. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Mateo. Today we heard some great things from our football and cheer team. I'm Charlotte Weaver. Now back to Jackson in the studio. Wow. I can't wait to see which one of our fall sports teams will take home the gold this season. 
That's all we have for today. Hope you enjoyed this segment and are ready to kick off the 2024-2025 school season. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Jackson Carmichael, and you're watching MRHS News. Have a great day.